All right, everybody, welcome back to some more Pokemon Scarlet. It is I, Zelsa, and today we're going to actually finish the game this time. Uh, so I don't know what story we're on. I mean, we finished it. We finished all the stories last time, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we finished all the stories, so I'm a bit confused of where we need to go now. I mean, we finished them all. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird that we still haven't finished the game. But anyway, uh, we've, uh, we've beaten the entire game pretty much. Uh, I have a bunch of rare candies that I kind of want to use. Uh, but first, uh, can we, wait, 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 can we even use them all to level up everybody to 100? No, I don't think so. I think we'll, we can get pretty close. So let's go use up all of the XP candies larges that we have. Let's give, uh, more trees some levels. We'll give him about, uh, we'll give him five large candies. We'll see how much he gets. Okay, so he's about everybody else's level. All right. How much does, will this take? All of it? Okay. So let's equally distribute it. I mean, technically more trees got more, but let's equally distribute this, and then we'll use up our rare candies specifically. Hopefully this will be good. I mean, maybe this will be good. Yeah, un unfortunately, Captain Kid did faint before the, the final battle last time. Are you, are you know what? Let's let's not max out everybody's level too much. We'll just we'll just do this for now. We'll just do this for now, just because like it just makes more sense. All right, Martrice. There we go. And I'll give Captain Kid one extra one, just because Captain Kid didn't get a lot of experience last time. And that's it for the large candies. Now, uh, we literally could max out everybody with the small candies, probably. Okay, how much would this do? It would take out pretty much all of it. All right, fine. So, uh, this time, we are we need to go to Zero Gate or whatever. Like la like it was said uh, last time, I'm going to save it because uh, everybody's now level 90. <laughs> all right. Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, right. <gasps> I gotta go here. <laughs> oof, oof, did it just get hot in here? Is it just me? Uh, hi, Nurse Miriam. How are you doing? Hey there, come on in. Everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. Oh, Xylestar, I'm glad you're here. I, I have some good news. You're not gonna believe this, but I'm in love with you. It's like, oh man, I'm, I'm in love with you too. It's like, <laughs> that was pretty... I passed the health teacher certification exam. Oh my god. That's amazing. Congratulations. I'd say both. I'd say congratulations. Like, that's great. Congratulations. Like, that's that's what I would say. Thank you so much. I saw you pushing yourself real hard with your treasure hunt. And that really inspired me. Of course, most of the credit... Of course, most of the credit for my success goes to my own hard work, though. <laughs> But you inspired me to do it again. Thanks for giving me the push I needed to try again, Zylestar. You obtained 10 max revives. But they tell me there's no room to add new classes this year. But at least you'll be ready next year. So I guess I'll keep being Nurse Miriam for a bit. You'll be my nurse anytime. I mean, uh, just you wait, though. I'll be standing in front of a class at this academy before you know it. I'm taking health class next year. I mean, <laughs> that'll tell you all you need to know about health. But I'll make, uh, I bet I'll make a great teacher. I can't wait to see you in my class. So who's going to be the new nurse then? Oh, we formed a close bond with Nurse Miriam. Mm, all right. Favorite teacher. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, I did tell director, what was it, Clavel? Uh, like, who's your favorite teacher? It's the, well, I'll be, I think he said staff member. I don't think he said teacher. I said, Nurse Miriam, he just, I bet he would just look at me and go, okay, is there any reason why? <laughs> All right, Clavel, do you have anything to say? Thank you again for your outstanding work on Operation Starfall. I mean, I already tried talking to you after I finished it and you didn't do anything. Can I tell you how relieved I am that we were able to help Miss Penny as we did? Okay. I don't know why this isn't actually loading it. Why aren't you loading the thing that I want you to go? I don't know why. 
Anyway. And I know she is excitedly grateful to you for your part in all this. Okay. So I have one more thing to ask of you. Though the request is admittedly of a delicate nature, do you think you could continue being good friends with Miss Penny as you have thus far? I mean, you bet. Sure, we're best buds. I must say, I have truly, I truly am glad to have uh, to have you as one of my students at the academy. I believe you're, you've more than earned this token of my appreciation. A big nugget. Ooh, nice. I hope that you will always stay just as wonderful as you are now, Zalastar. The phone a close bond with Director Clavel. Ew, I don't want that. Oh, I misspelled it. That's why. That's why it wasn't loading. Anyway. Let's continue on with the story. Although, I, I love the nurse warning in part. Oh, so... Anyway. um, Back on topic here. Nurse Miriam, best best teacher ever. Even before she became a teacher, she was the best teacher ever. Alright, get that off there. There you go. Uh, she's the best teacher because uh, she's nice. Uh, she's very pretty. Uh, she's very pretty. No, I'm kidding, okay. Just keep, repeat, just keep repeating one word. Hopefully everybody will admit that you, you know you're kind of right. Uh, go meet Arvin the way home. We're okay, gotta go. Gotta go home then. Here's the way home. It's right here. Your house. Look, look, it, the, all you literally need to do is just rotate the U upside down so it says your homes. Uh, and then maybe rearrange the S to make it look like an M. And then you're uh, you're you're good. It's it's your home. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go to the Medali East then. Actually, I need to plug in the phone within a bit. <laughs> My stopwatch is about to die soon. There we go. That should help out a little bit. Perfect. All right. I think we... I'm trying to think. Maybe we've been there already. All right. All right, ride on. It's time to climb. What? I've been through this mountain a bunch of times. Eerie. It's even a new TM, too. Okay. Now, this doesn't... Uh, now, after this part, doesn't mean that there might not be any other videos. There might be some, but they'll be complete only. Like, I won't do any small videos. Mainly because I know for a fact there's going to be some DLCs pr practically for this game. I mean, like, there has to be DLCs. <laughs> Or they might do something like they did with uh, Legends Arceus, where they added an update that was pretty much a DLC. But I don't think so. I think they're going to add uh, DLC. Alright. Ooh, the gate's now open. Interesting. Alright. We're ready to continue onward to through our j dirty... I don't know. Hey! Over here! All right. There could be cool items here too. Might want to go exploring that though. This is the zero gate. It was made so researchers could try to observe the inside of the great crater of Paldea. The folks call area zero. It's our ticket down into the crater. Oh, and speaking of the crater, you know that Pokemon of yours, the one I gave you? Area zero is apparently where Coridon was born or something like that. Maybe it'll be happy that it can finally come back home. Not that I really care or anything. But he's so happy. Anyway, our two new teammates should be waiting for us inside the zero gate. Guess we should head in. Are you going to force me in? No, I want to explore around. <gasps> new story. The way home. But uh, my home is south from here. But my home is south from here. It's like, I, I don't know why I had to head north to go home. It's weird. You know, I get my directions wrong sometimes. You know, maybe, uh, maybe north is home. <laughs> Whoa, kind of dark in here. Hi, Namona. 
Hola, Xylosaur. Arvin said there'd be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. That's all you really need to tell her. Once she heard she'd get to battle some uh, battle awesome Pokemon, she was here in a second. You're an annoying little pest of the academy, but I guess you could come in handy for this. Spoken like a guy who wants to get beaten in a battle. <laughs> but more importantly, why is it so dark? And where where are the awesome Pokemon? Yeah, it is weird that the lights are off. The last time I was here, the electricity was up and running, but now... Uh-oh. Well, now the lights are on. Was it the clap-on system? It's a clap-on system. You gotta clap. But why? I... I turned them on. Ah, oh, it's Penny! Seems like they were on power-saving mode. Oh, I do that all the time, man. Forget to forget that my lights are turned on to power saver. I do that all the time. Anyway, uh, hacked into the system controls and overrode the settings. Oh, it's you, the kid with the fluffy Eevee bag. Oh, that's so mean. Say so you remember about the bag. Um, I guess. My name's Penny. Well, hey, we never got to actually talk. I'm the Mona. I'm in class 1-A. You must be some kind of tech whiz. Do you like Pokemon battling too? It's like, not really. Uh, you talk, like, way too much. <laughs> or you talk, like, way too much. The director introduced us. When you need someone good with tech, she's a no-brainer. Anyway, Penny here also agreed in a second when she heard it was to help Xylestar. I mean, she did say, I I'm not really the adventuring type, but I owe you, Xylestar, and I pay my debts. She's surprisingly old-fashioned like that. That's not old-fashioned. Is it? Maybe. I don't know. And, of course, everyone knows me, Arvin. My love include... My loves include my mabostiff and cooking and... Biometric identification in progress. Uh, hello, Xylestar. I have been expecting you. And it seems you have gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Uh, sorry? Who are you? <laughs> You don't, you don't know Seda? That's kind of... Oh, wait. No, she wouldn't have heard it. Okay. Never mind. That's my mom. Probably. <laughs> Only two people are surprised by this. What? That's Professor... That's... What? That's Professor Seda. Namona, student ID number... Hey, stop hacking into the school system. That's Penny's job. 805C001. And Penny, student ID number... 803B121. I thank you for coming. Of course, Professor. Oh my gosh, it's such an honor to meet you in person. She's not here, though. I mean, maybe not in person exactly. I, I know, right? Like It's like, okay then. Arvin, did you uh, tell your mom about us? When would I have done that? <laughs> I mean, yeah, to be fair, when would you have done that? Actually, to be fair, we don't know when he asked of them, too. So it could be, like, in between. It's like, like, you know, like he asked Nomona, and she's like, sure. And it's like, Mom, Nomona's coming. It's like, okay. And then it's like, after he gets Penny, it's like, okay, Mom, Penny's coming. It's like, okay. Like, like why, the, why the hell are you calling me about this stuff? And just dropping the phone. It's like, it's breaking. It's like, don't call me again until Silestar's there. Uh, to begin with, I'd like to ask you all to make your way down into the great crater of Paldea. You can reach the lower chamber using the elevator you, uh, you can see to your right. Um, mom. Please proceed below. <laughs> Just ignoring him. Just no. We have no time for this, Arvin. Are they not on good terms? Must not be. Is there an item here? Is there like free items? Gotcha. Go to area zero. I don't feel like. Oh man. I can't go on a raised platform. Man, I wish I was just taller. Maybe Nimona can give me some, like, height tips or something like that to get taller. Since every character in this game is practically tall. I'm pretty sure Penny's probably taller than... Oh, Penny's about my, my height. Never mind. I was good. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Uh? Okay. If you get in front of Penny, apparently, she teleports you. It's like she... No, wait. It's like right here, I think, right? Maybe? I'm confused here. I don't know. Anyway, that's weird. 
I didn't do that. There's not like a quick strafe system or something like that where you can just like quickly go into like a teleport thing or whatever. Okay, so we're taking the elevator. I don't know what we're doing here. I don't... Oh, I thought I was moving. I didn't do that. Alright. <laughs> I was like, ooh, lever. It's like, no, don't press it. Biometric identification in progress. Identities confirmed. Access granted to lower level. Ooh, it opened for us automatically. Not quite. Looks to me like someone's controlling this thing remotely. Once you step through, you will be above Area Zero. Dalstar, you have brought Coridon with you. No. <laughs> to be like, that's con that's weird. How did you not do it? I thank you for bringing it with you on your many adventures. If you utilize Coridon's gliding capabilities, you should be able to descend into the depths to reach Area Zero. Wait. Isn't there, like, an elevator or something? And wait, did you say Coridon could fly? Glide! Gl gl glide! 